Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel Witness Love. My name is Corey. I hope all of you are having an amazing day, evening, and a good night for when you're watching this video here. For today's video, we are doing massive candle empties. As for all these 27 candles that I burned through the month of August. If you haven't already, I did burn as for a few towards the beginning of the month. So if you want to check out part one, that is further below down on my channel. But I'm just going to hop right into all of these 27 candles. As for, of course, burning through all of them, I have some Aldi's, Bath and Body Works, and Miscellaneous within other candle companies. And yeah, we're just going to hop right into it. One of my favorites, as for, out of all the candles that I burned through, is Moonlit Graveyard. I enjoy this one very much with the eerie incense and that cold moss foggy air and yeah the lid is just so adorable with the ghost and it was a clean burn not really that much so it looks like some throughout like the halfway point but this is very a nice cozy mysterious fragrance with that eerie incense that I absolutely <laughs> love. So I'll have to suck up on those whenever there is a upcoming candle sale. Onto the spooky side of things. So we have Bath and Body Works pumpkin carving. This was from last Halloween with the orange, bright orange wax, my favorite color. And I just love this holographic. Then the skeleton pumpkin faces. And this had the nice carved pumpkin, spice seeds, smooth brown sugar. Smelled like the inside of a pumpkin while you carve it. So, always looking for that pumpkin <laughs> carving. As for some single wicks, these burned, okay. I burned the whole way down for this one, actually, for pumpkin peanut brittle. One of my favorite all-time fragrances from Bath & Body Works and Home Fragrance, Crunchy Caramel Brittle Salty Peanuts and Toasted Pumpkin Seeds. They definitely need to make this as for in a body care because I would be buying and stocking up on that one. Finished to Moonlight. Moonlit. For some odd reason, I'm going to say Moonlight Graveyard most of the time, but it's, it's, it is Moonlit. And yeah, just like the three wick, I love the whole a shiny candle wrap with all the ravens flying around. So there was that one. And then a, another, I don't really have any issues when it comes to the single wicks. Although, I, uh, once I get to another candle, I will, of course, discuss myself personally with another candle company with their single wicks that have more fragrance throw. This one was Sweet Red Mango. Notes of ripe mango, sunny peach, and pineapple juice. Definitely a sweet, peachy, you do get that prominent mo note of the ripe mango. But it is a nice, like, sweet mango juicy scent from the pineapple as well. And just some soot towards the bottom. Along with, like, some wax that really wasn't unevenly, evenly melting. But Hibiscus Waterfalls, I got this at a yard sale for only $2. And it has notes of tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, fresh waterfall mist. This one is an okay fragrance. I'm not really a huge fan of it. It's definitely sort of aquatic with a undertone of that sweet peach. But those two notes to my nose, and while this was on the wax melter... As you can see, because both of the waxes for two of them went under. So I was um, having this one going on the wax melter. I couldn't tell you how many times. But yeah, not really a huge fan of this one with that sweet peach mixed with the aquatic note. This one that I'm highly favoring is freshly brewed coffee. I do have four of these in my collection still. And yeah, just a nice cup of sweetly brewed black coffee. And absolutely love that one. 
favorite of mine as of last year. I've been growing slightly away from it. It is pumpkin apple, notes of red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, and fresh ground cinnamon. I sort of like pumpkin bonfire and pumpkin cinnamon bun more over pumpkin apple. So the next candle that I burned through was part of the cocktail candle collection. This is the smoked caramel mezcal. This is very nice within the smoky mezcal caramel drizzle and cinnamon sugar rim. I don't really get any much cinnamon. I get that prominent note of that mezcal with a slight undertone of caramel. Sort of gives me as for which I have had in the past a few times uh, Tennessee Old Smoky Mountain Moonshine as in the smoked caramel whiskey. I would say that's definitely how for which that whiskey tastes for which how it smelled within burning and yeah it slightly smells like beef jerky for when I was smelling it in the store and somewhat while it was burning but it's just sort of leaning towards beef jerky and then for which the notes have that smoked caramely mascal and this one was a nice one and no soot at all same out of that collection was sweet whiskey notes of golden amber vanilla fused infused whiskey and sweet red berries a nice whiskey alcoholic berry scent and you do get that golden amber and yeah, I much prefer the Smoke Karma Muscal, but this did not have any set either with this candle collection. One that is always strong is Spiced Cardamom. Love this within the Perfumer series. Got this one during gratis, but it's Cinnamon, Spice, Cardamom, Cedarwood, and probably a, another one. Yeah, and Pinch of Nutmeg. I was trying to read it underneath the gratis sticker and... Yeah, this just uh, red hot cinnamon and the extra cinnamon gum right there. So be moving this out of the way. We're just going to quickly go through the Ollie candles. I'm not really a huge fan of Gardenia, but this was in Hayden's mom's candle collection and as within us burning candles throughout the whole house. I actually surprisingly enjoyed this one. It is a nice floral bouquet of the gardenia. I love the wax and no issues at all within it burning the whole way down. It is very strong, so nice as for what the price is. If you are a floral lover, I would recommend this gardenia from Aldi's because they're usually around uh, four something, I believe. Next is Sugar Palm. This is sort of like Bath and Body Works Ocean Side, Ocean Side Palm. <laughs> and that just came out. I think it is a returning fragrance though. But with this one, um, yeah, the wick uh, sort of drifted the whole way over there. So don't ask me how because this was not placed on the warmer and probably just the bad wick placement that sometimes all these has on their three wicks sunset citrus and coconut a very sunny coconut scent uh, no really issues at all just some slight soot and enjoy this one it is very light though because all these candles can be hit and miss uh, occasionally just depending on like what the fragrance is in that Happy Easter. <laughs> when first burning this, it was giving me more like a uh, chitty fruity candy from Bath and Body Works, and then it was leaning towards Gardenia, possibly since I was burning them at the same time within all the other candles that are burning at the same time throughout the house in all the rooms. But yeah, I would say this is a sort of nice, sweet although floral gardenia doesn't really make sense but I just decided to burn it down for how I wanted to because yeah I was sort of getting tired of that one next is wild dunes we have many of these in our collection and sadly for which I can't really smell it, it is is a nice sandy um 
I would say sort of leaning towards laundry detergent, that sandy, fresh, clean vibe. Gives me like laying on the beach or as for, in this case, in the wild dunes, in the desert. But yeah, just burning this to burn, not really for the fragrance because it's not there. This is a, another Aldi's Candle Forever Green. And yeah, sort of a nice, light, uh, fresh balsam comparison to Bath and Body Works. And not, uh, I would, yeah, as you can see, all the soot around <laughs> throughout. But it did burn the whole way down. This was the one that I was mentioning earlier. This is Swan Creek Candle Company. I had... As for, I knew of this candle and the wax melts and that stuff. I have never burned a candle for which I believe from this company. But I got this from my local mall. And this is honey soaked apples. It was $16. And yeah, I don't know. 12 ounces and 75 hours of burn time. This when I tell you, it is very strong. I can even smell it now still from the last time of burning this. And just on cold sniff, it gives me that warm, uplifting, sort of caramel apple <laughs> fragrance of which I got throughout this whole burn and definitely going to be a repurchase. I think these beat Bath & Body Works single wicks out of the park. Um, definitely when it comes to this and it sort of has the same mason jar style compared to bbw some miscellaneous candles that i couldn't really smell but i just wanted to get through them this is vanilla pumpkin couldn't tell you as for what well it says target so this was from target not any soot at all and then a few dollar tree candles can't smell these either unless you're standing right above sniffing the candles but fresh linen and clarity lucidite this one ended up putting on the warmer this is a, a dollar general candle i believe holiday style peppermint brownie sugared snickerdoodle spice apple toddy on the warmer, it was nice giving that warm peppermint to the sort of sweet of the brownie and giving a chocolate fragrance as well as for, of course, what uh, brownies taste like. But yeah, it was nice for the three layers of different colors when this was before putting it on the wax melt. Well, wax warmer. Uh, this Woodwick Pink Raspberry Lemonade. It was nice. Uh, burned as for the whole way down woodwick i'm not really a huge fan of these it goes i love asmr but <laughs> i don't know rather much just enjoy watching like a video or something instead of hearing the wick slightly burning but make it a few more of these in my collection this one gave me like pink watermelon blast mixed with watermelon lemonade all that watermelon with the sweetness of uh, lemonade with sort of which this states pink raspberry but it was getting more uh, pink watermelon blast in that case here candle light limited edition milk and cookies couldn't really smell that this much I just burned it for which the whole way down that I wanted to and yeah, it is a nice, like, cookie fragrance with a hint of sort of how milk tastes. <laughs> this one is another Woodwick Fireside Broadwood Sandalwood Clove. This gives me Bath & Body Works Fireside. I did end up putting it on the warmer, so that's why it sort of looks like gray wax. And, yeah, the wick from the start was just too built as for short while the wax was somewhat above it and it wouldn't stay lit so that's why i just threw it on the warmer and the last candle this was part of uh hayden's mom's candle collection as well we just figured to get through some of these candles and then lean towards more 
of course, burning all of her Bath and Body Works sale along with Aldi's. This is Woodland Christmas Winter Bliss Hannah's Scented Candle Timberwick. I've heard of this company before. That's a little description if you want to read that because I just now saw that. <laughs> but yeah, it's giving me fresh balsam and all of that with this winter bliss. Just another cozy, uh, warm Christmas candle of which I'm always down for with fragrances. So thank you all so much for watching this Passive candle empties for all the ones that I burned through in August. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, good evening, and a good night.